I think that uh, the, the reason I get from most of my clients that they can't go to faster releases is their software is too big and complex. And I'm like, is it bigger and more complex than Amazon? Because they do continuous delivery. They deliver <laughs> shit. They deliver stuff every 10 seconds or something. It's ridiculous. Oh, oof, so good... if they can do it, any company can do it. Now, Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Real Agile or BS. It's me, Peter, with my awesome colleague and co-founder of Agile for All, Agile Bob. We love answering all of your Agile and Scrum questions. And we have one that's interesting today. It's releasing product every sprint. Is that real Agile or BS? Now, I'm going to take a stab at this early on because I know, having read the Scrum Guide and its various iterations throughout time, I know that Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland in their original substantiation of Scrum assumed that at the end of every sprint, we are releasing to product uh, to live production or releasing it to our customers. At least that is the intent. And what is novel and interesting, if you look back at the earlier versions of Scrum, they didn't have any ideas around release planning which is often an idea that comes up in classes and clients, they'll say, well, release planning isn't the core dogma or core doctrine of Scrum. So why are we creating releases cut up into multiple sprints when every sprint is supposed to be a self-contained unit of value that we can really deliver uh, to our customers? So it's a, it's, it's a poignant question and it's worth digging into. And so I'll uh, give, after giving a little bit of that preamble here, I'll throw it over to you, Bob. Is release planning every, or releasing product every sprint is that real agile or is that BS? Well, Peter, I think I might surprise you here. I think to me at this point in the world, I think it's a little bit of BS. I think we release as often as we can, hmm. whether that's every sprint, every day, every hour, every three months, whatever it is, whatever our maximum cadence can be, let's release. I think that the fact that we wait uh, for, for an artificial time frame to do it is kind of odd. Now, you and I both agree that scaled agile framework safe is, is potentially not very helpful for many organizations. Um, and I'll well say said. that in as, in as good a politically correct way as I can. <laughs> well um, but, um, but one of their concepts that I really do like is, is to develop on cadence. In other words, do your development in sprints, but release on demand. Mm -hmm. And I think that's actually pretty agile and release it when you need to release it whenever that is. Um, I, I actually think that that striving for for some companies striving for sprints being releases is a great concept. For other companies, it's impossible, and for other companies, it's way too long. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I think if we release every sprint, we lose a little bit of what Scrum is designed to help us do, which is get feedback. If we're going to release every sprint, when do we do that sprint review, and what do, what meaning does it have if we're planning to release anyway? So I, I see both sides of this argument, and but I think it's really boils down to don't use artificial limits for when you're going to release. Just release it as quick as you can because it has a feature set that makes sense to release. So I, I think I think the way it's phrased as do sprints do do releases every sprint I would say is is great advice for about half the companies out there, and complete crap advice for the other half of companies out there. And I don't want to limit them in any way. So I would, I'm going to actually say it's a little bit, it's, it's historically very agile. In today's world, probably a little bit of BS. You know, I, I think you were, you maybe were presenting that your answer as kind of a buffer to maybe me being on the other side, but I'm on this, I'm on the same page as you. I think the original substantiation, the original kind of dogma of what Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland put together did not account for, and this is how I communicate it to my clients, is I don't think they truly accounted for the complexity and scale of what computer systems and computer platforms and software systems are today. And I think it is, and I just state it plainly to my clients, I say, I think it's unrealistic to assert that you can deploy to production every sprint. It's just, we have a, a multiplicity of teams, we have a, a scaled product with multiple integrations and complexity galore. And what I always like to say, now this might be different for you, but our definition of done should be 
and when we're looking at a, a, release, a release perspective, should give us some conception of what that package should look like, whether it's two sprints to a release or three sprints to a, re a release. I always like to use the artifact as a def uh, the artifact definition done as a mechanism for saying, hey, we believe that a fully sufficient piece of value to our customers into production, fully validated, UAT, testing, all that good jazz, that definition of done can outline for us what that package should look like. The package could be a one sprint release, could be a two, could be a three. And to the naysayers out there, they might say, well, that might be completely wholly inaccurate. You're right. It's called emergence. Every time we build anything it, it, with, with software, there's always emergent discovery and emergent design. We didn't know what we didn't know until we jumped into it. But I like to use a definition done as kind of a guiding light to say, hey, for this package, this software, this sprint goal or this release goal, this is what we're looking for. It's going to be these four sprints added up to re release. And I'm 100% on, on, on the same page with you from, from your quote from, uh, from SAFE that, yep, develop on cadence, release on demand. I think it's very important to understand what are the release goals that we have and how can we build sprints into that. However, at the same, at the same kind of the other side of the token there is I believe, maybe, maybe this is just my biases, but I believe that every company, and this is for everyone out there that might want to comment or, or say otherwise, I believe that every company can release every sprint. Uh, I think it's a mature, it's a function of maturity, but man, like I, maybe it's my naivete. I've been in that can't be naive anymore, Bob, but I mean, maybe it's my wishful <laughs> thinking is that I, 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 I know I'm beyond the excuse of naiveness. Um, I just truly believe in my heart that with great discipline, great enterprise discipline, great leadership buy-in, a, a shared understanding throughout the enterprise that end in a sufficient breaking down of work and user stories that any enterprise can truly get to a two week delivery, like actual production. And so maybe, maybe that is just me putting up a target and knowing what the ideal could be so that we continue to drive to that, never knowing if we're going to exactly hit it, but sometimes it's better to know what the goal is than not have any goals at all. So I like to have that goal goal and saying, could it be possible? Could we move to a maturity model where we can release every sprint? I think that's just that's just a little bit of Peter Saddington playing into the winds here, but I, I'm a I'm a firm believer that every every company can go there. Now, whether it's practical, I think that's back to your statements. It really depends on the company and the type of complexity they're working with. What other comments you got? Well, I think that uh, the, the reason I get from most of my clients that they can't go to faster releases is their software is too big and complex, and I'm like. Is it bigger and more complex than Amazon? Because they do continuous delivery. They deliver <laughs> shit. They deliver stuff every 10 seconds or something. It's ridiculous. Oof, oof, so good... if they can do it, any company can do it. Now, did they invest a ton in their infrastructure and understanding how to do that? Absolutely. But they got it down to seconds. You were asking people to get it down to a couple of weeks. I think the scale can be dramatically different in what you have to do to infrastructure to get it done in every couple of weeks. Um, and we also have to remember that the original sprints were month long sprints, 30 day sprints. That's true. And that was, when we think about it in 1990, it was blindingly fast. Yeah. No one could do anything in 30 days in software. That was ridiculous. Now, who's gonna buy into that concept? True. And yet that's the concept that's stuck. And now we're like, well, two weeks is too fast. Well, two weeks is you know only half of 30 days and we were doing that 20 years ago. <sighs> so we, ought, we gotta be able to do two weeks by now. Um, when so you say I, it, I agree with you on that. When you say it that way, it puts a lot of gravity on it, right? It's like 20 years ago, we were doing month long sprints, like that gummit. I mean, you'd think 20 years would be maybe be able to do two weeks sprints. So if you put it like that, it adds well, a lot. 20 of years ago, 20 years ago, what did we have? We had, uh, you know, the first Pentium computers, right? I mean, we yes, had that's true. what, you know, if we had, if we had 512 K of Ram, it was ridiculous. Exactly. And now my phone has 256 gigabytes, right? I mean, it's. <laughs> That's true. I, I remember. The it. scale, the scale is ridiculous. I, yeah, I remember the day when I purchased an upgrade of eight megabytes of RAM and it cost me $640. I remember like it was, it was totally worth saving up. And, and the performance gain was really really good back in 93 like eight megs of ram for 600 bucks totally worth it but now obviously my, my first 
my first five megabyte hard disk, five megabyte hard disk cost me a thousand dollars. Now you get those things for free at conferences, the five gig, you know. Well, I, I've got I've got an ad in my email for from Micro Center to come. We haven't seen you in a while. Come in and we'll give you a 32 gigabyte uh, USB stick for free. <laughs> the times have changed, my friends. Well, we are, again, two men with two opinions, and we, we're in the trenches, and we believe that releasing product every sprint is an ideal, maybe, to strive for, but maybe a BS for a lot of companies, depending on their constraints and the complexity that they're working in. So guys, let us know your comments, your ideas. Post one below, below this video, like it, thumbs it up. But also if you're willing to have a conversation conversation with us, feel free to join us at agileforall.com in the forums and our community site. Thanks so much for being here guys for another episode of Real Agile or BS. We'll see you guys on the flip side.